Hey, hey y'all and welcome back. Today I have a recipe to share with you. About to leave. Already back. Honey garlic crock pot chicken. This is actually a new recipe so we're going to try it out together. I'm pretty excited about it. It's already a little bit later. It is 1.30. Ish. It's actually 144 if we want to be exact. <laughs> and so I'm getting started on this a little bit later. But the recipe that I'm kind of going off of says that it only needs about four to five hours on low. And I'm not planning on eating this until we get back from our ball games tonight. So I've got about six hours ish, maybe even a little bit longer. So I don't know. I'm hoping it all works out. We'll see together. I'm going to link the recipe down in the description box, but I'm also going to type it out because I don't know if I'm looking at it wrong or what, but it doesn't give exact measurements. It just kind of tells you what to put in it. So I'm going to kind of play it by ear. I'll let y'all know down in the description box the measurements that I end up using. Do y'all see over here on the table, the kids had a science activity today where they had to make something that they could like live in if you were on Mars. Let me just go show you real quick. They came up with all kinds of things. This is what Huddy and Audrey did together. And they've got, this is how they get their power, their water, where they live. They've got some greenhouses. And then let me go show you Easton's. Check this out, y'all. This one is Easton's. He's got all kinds of stuff going on too, from power sources, to where they live. This is where he's growing his plants. He said the lunch box is where they could go to get warm if they needed to. I love it. Now back to the recipe <laughs> and what we came here for today, right? I'm gonna go ahead and get everything out, show you what we need, and then we'll put it all in the crock pot. If you're new, my name is Tiffany and this is Our Small Town Life. We are a simple Southern family living our life, living our adventure and bringing you along. We do grocery hauls, what's for dinners, family vlogs, share our life with you. We'd love to have you as part of the crew. Consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave. And if you're coming back, if you're a subscriber and you're coming back for another video, we appreciate y'all and thank you for coming back and watching another one. Let's make some honey garlic crock pot chicken. chicken is in here. I was originally just going to do three chicken breasts, but as I was trimming it and cutting it up, I decided to go ahead and do four. So anyway, I just trimmed it up and then kind of cut them in smaller pieces. Put them down in here. Now we're going to add all the rest of our ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and mix everything together in this little bowl and then we'll pour it on top of the chicken. Let's start with the ketchup. I'm going to do one cup of ketchup. Should have shook that up first. Now, one cup of ketchup. It took a minute, but I got in it. Half a cup of soy sauce. do the same amount of honey I think maybe not quite half a cup do I want to do three a third of a cup maybe I'm gonna go ahead and do a half a cup of honey as well I think I 
It is honey garlic chicken after all. I was going to do a little bit less, but we're going to go with a half. Half of a cup. I'm going to do a nice big tablespoonful of minced garlic. Then I'm going to do half a teaspoon each of Italian seasoning, onion powder, and garlic powder. And yes, I'm putting in the minced garlic and the garlic powder because it's honey garlic chicken. It needs to have some good garlic flavor, right? You can always just do one or the other if that's what you want. Add us some salt and pepper. If this ends up tasting as good as it smells, we are in business because y'all. That smells good. And we're just going to pour this right on top. Look at that. All right, I'm going to put the lid on. Put it on low. We're going to let it go until we get back from ball games tonight. Probably about six hours. Check it to make sure our chicken's done, and I think I'm going to cook some rice to go along with it. It says you can thicken this sauce with a cornstarch slurry for the last 30 minutes. You can pour that in if you want to thicken it up a little bit. We'll take a look at it and probably end up doing that when we get home from the game, too. If I do, I will show that to you. about this meal one because it smells good and two it feels like it's been forever since I put anything in the crock pot I don't it's not been that long I don't think but it seems like it has so I love me a good crock pot meal hopefully this one turns out perfect we shall see I thought I would show you too that this is how I freeze chicken so what I did was I went ahead and trimmed these up it was some extra I had from the pack and then I used some sandwich bags just because I had them. Sometimes I use plastic wrap. But I put the chicken each breast inside of a sandwich bag and then put that inside of this freezer bag. And that way they don't stick together, especially if you have a bunch of them in here. You can just pull out what you need and they won't be stuck together and frozen. So I'm going to stick these two in the freezer. up not doing the cornstarch slurry to thicken the sauce just because it was late and we were hungry but you could absolutely do that if you wanted to and had the time we really enjoyed this Audrey and I especially the boys were not crazy about the flavor but they did eat it and enjoyed it it was very garlicky and I think that's why it just wasn't their absolute favorite and I love garlic so I enjoyed it if you try this meal let us know what you think about it Thank y'all for watching. We love you guys and we'll see you next time. Bye y'all.